Hey, what's up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today, gonna do the DAZN recap from Saturday, March 27th, where we saw Dillian White get his revenge on Alexander Povetkin in their rematch as he scored a fourth round knockout victory to regain the WBC interim heavyweight championship and put himself back in the hot contention for the world title, you know, for a world title shot later on down the road. Um, you know, White and Povetkin, you know, I, I predicted Povetkin to win the fight, but I said it could go either way. Just depends on how these two guys look. And as I was thinking before I did this video, I was thinking about the fight and my feelings on it. You know, it's very reminiscent of Lewis and Rockman too. You know, because, uh, you know, and actually just their whole two-fight rivalry right there. It was very similar to that. Actually, almost identical. Because Rockman came out of nowhere in the first fight. People kind of knew him. He was, I, I believe he was uh, Lewis's mandatory at the time. Kind of knew him, as they did. Kind of knew Pavekin. You kind of knew him a little bit. But nobody really thought he was going to win. And then Rockman, one punch knocked out. Uh, Lennox Lewis, Pavekin one punch knocked out, uh, Dillian White. Rematch came, ended up coming seven months later. Um, and both White and Lewis went in there dominant and stopped Pavekin and Hasim Rahman in the fourth round, one round faster than their opponents had knocked them out seven months prior. So, very similar. And, um, you know, Dillian White, that was the kind of win he needed. That was huge, you know. Uh, he went in there and just first round, you know, he kind of let his hands go. Landed a couple shots that looked like they might have rocked Pavekin, but Pavekin just looked tired and old is all he looked like to me. Um, he didn't look like, obviously, the same Pavekin. I mean, the guy's 41, 42, shell of himself, but, you know, of him at his best. And I'm going to call this right now. Dillian White in his prime against Pavekin in his prime would stand no chance, but they're not in their prime. So that that that, that is a moot point. It's really irrelevant. <clears throat> but this guy showed, you know, Dillian White uh, showed that he's hungry and he and he admitted he made a mistake in the first fight and he came back guns a-blazing and dominated and stopped Pavekin impressively in the fourth round. He's the interim champion again. We don't know what's going to happen with that. Could his next fight be a title fight against Deontay Wilder, the number one contender? It very well could be because Tyson Fury's fighting Anthony Joshua. And, you know, hey, uh, the winner might have to fight uh, Dillian White, you know. So they're not going to because they signed a two-fight contract. Um, and so that belt's probably going to go vacant. And then you might see Dillian White get upgraded and have to defend against Deontay Wilder. So it really... You know, is up in the air, but we'll discuss all that on the what's next. All I know is it, would, it was an impressive ass performance out of Dillian White coming off a brutal knockout loss. He picked up where he left off in the fourth round of the first fight, was dominating the action, landing combination, boxing, and set up his punches very nicely and scored an impressive knockout victory, got his revenge. So, congratulations to Dillian White for that win. Alexander Povetkin. You know, we'll discuss what's next on him later on. Tough loss for him, though, at his age, so we'll see what happens. But that's it. That's the recap from the DAZN United Kingdom card that took place Saturday, March 27th. Hope you guys enjoyed it. True boxing. You've been hit with the truth.